Hi, welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. What's more American than apple pie or baseball? The Chevrolet Corvette. It was America's first real sports car, and though it's more than 50 years old, not a whole lot has changed. So here we are in the 1960 Chevy Corvette, feeling very cool. Now you might be wondering who's next to me. This is Steve. Say hi, Steve. Steve was sent to watch me. He's my guardian. They don't trust me with a vintage automobile that could be worth around $100,000 if it's in mint condition. That's fine. He has to stay with the car. All right, Steve, do your thing. Stop time. Unbelievable. Chevy had something very special in the Corvette. It's a very unique car for him. Originally started in 1953, but really didn't become popular until 1955 when they were able to match the beautiful looks on the outside with a great performing engine on the inside. We're here with uh, Dr. Jamie Meyer. Tell me a little bit about the history of the Corvette. Corvette is America's sports car. It's always been the best sports car from America. GM powertrain came out with the Chevrolet V8. It's gone on to be known as the small block. Okay. V8, 90 degree, 4.4 inch bore spacing. And what's really amazing, it has kept that same architecture through to today. Once they switched over to that Chevy small block V8, it was able to just pour out horsepower. 230 horses in this thing. This thing's tiny for 230 horses. Zero to 60 in 8.3 seconds. You have cars at home that don't go that fast. We got a nice display of the evolution of the small block Chevy. So this is a 265 cubic inch. V8 small block, just like you get in 1955. Through the history, through the development, what we're gonna see is little parts started to change. Little things like how small the manifold is. Just oh, yeah. The performance industry was built off of making headers and different intakes, and how right. the more air and fuel you can get into the cylinder, the more power you're gonna make. Sure. This one specifically has some unique things to it. The clutch, my knee is essentially in my chest right now. Really not a lot of accoutrements in it. No super high technologically advanced things like navigation or magnetic ride suspension or seat belts. So we've seen the small block Chevy uh, really become more than just a powertrain. It, it defines General Motors, but also America. You know, you, you see a hot rod, it likely has a small block Chevy in it. Yeah. So overall, Corvettes are an American staple. Those days of being on top and being an American sports car that's such a supercar are back. How about we talk about 638 horsepower? How about we talk about the amazing Chevy Corvette ZR1? 